Generic greetings and welcome back to Shakedown Simulator. In the previous episode, we were not focusing on any particular part of the facility. We did several things. We first added two more parole on the right hand side here because because of the amount of prizes that we were receiving, as well as the amount of prizes that we have, we had a deficit when it came to parole. So people would come up for parole and they would have to wait and wait and wait in order to uh, get through that program. It obviously doesn't mean that they're going to pass it or anything like that, but it, mean, it just meant that this used to go up and up and up and we had over 30 people ready for parole and it was just getting worse. So adding in two parole, we're actually now going down. We have 11 prisoners that are due for it. Obviously that will fluctuate and such, but I'm, I think overall we are getting rid of the backlog so eventually as soon as prisoners come up for all they can go straight away and uh, have that session we also added uh, in a cleaning cupboard towards the back end of the episode as well which we've assigned people to that we haven't done much work in the last episode simply because of this prisoner demand less work event that kicked off we put in some flooring around the outside of this forestry plus the forestry which is in the center naturally that'll take some time to grow and then for us to see any sort of return on that but it was worth doing i believe and then finally we built uh sorry we didn't build but we changed the planning for this central section which is going to be it's going to be probably high risk uh, with a bit of soup max and then death row in the center however whether or not we even get there is sort of up for debate because this is quite a simple task to complete um these two are very simple as well it's just pretty much a cloning job in fact, I will probably not even bother mirroring these to the other side. I'm just going to clone them because why not? It's just uh, pretty much the same thing up the top here. And really, this is going to take a lot of time to put in and then get more prisoners and do all of that. And I don't know if it's worth it at this stage, but we will see how far we get on in this and subsequent episodes. So the warden is calling. Prisoners have settled down about the work, so we can pause it, go over to our regime, change this back to all of the working like we have seen previously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go over to our programs, and we can see if we reschedule our programs, it has now finished that. Excellent. Uh, we can run more country ships. Yes, we can. And we also want to start to run some guard taser certification, which I'm hoping we have. Uh, yes, we do. That is fine. Where is it? There we go. And again, and again, and again, and again. And just see as, see if we can get everybody uh, through that thing as well. So there's that all sorted. A shakedown underway. You can see 687 places to search. And we've searched the majority of them now. And actually not found a lot. Um, four phones, uh, three medicines, four needles, uh, a pickaxe, which is interesting. I wonder where they've got that. Let me have a quick look. Let's see where they've got a pickaxe over the last 24 hours. We can sadly not mouse on this, but we can mouse over there, just on the main map. There's a knife. There's the pickaxe. It looks like it was thrown in, I think, but the... Yeah, no, it was stolen. It was stolen from there, that pickaxe. It is a wooden pickaxe, so it won't be detected because it is a wooden pickaxe. So it is just two bits of wood with some bandages or something around it. So that is one of the disadvantages with forestry now that we have wood coming in here. They can, I think they, actually I don't know if it's, I don't know if the workshop just supplies that in general or whether it's to do with forestry. I think it's the former. But anyway, either way, that's what's happened there. You can see we're going to spend a lot of money on equipment taser. Uh, we have more intake here because of the amount of people that we are putting through the parole there. And that is a guy, why are they in a dark jacket? Uh, that is a facing game, so it's not not too much of a problem. I thought, why have we got some uh, some death row prisoner? And that is not the case. It's just their facing game. <laughs> right, so I've activated our informant here. I'm just trying to find out what these three traits are. You can see people are walking out the door. We've got quick, stalkal, fearless, and quick. That's not too much of a problem. I'll scroll it right out here. I'm just looking around to see if we've got anyone targeted like that, which we haven't. Obviously, Leander has got 100% visibility and view on this thing, so that is fine. We're going to go over to our walls and doors and to white wall, and we will go ahead and start to place in the walls around this thing. Now, this is oh there is deaths let me check that in a moment i'm just gonna 
finished doing what I was doing, putting the outside walls on there, we can see that we've had... Um, oh! Gaskin has kicked off and killed the parole officer. Even though we had a guard there and a guard there, they didn't manage to stop them. But there's not much we could have really done about that. Because, I mean, we've even got tasers now, so it should have been in a better position than uh, previously anyway. So I don't really know what happened there. Anyway, we're going to go over to our large jail door, place in a large jail door right in the middle here. And obviously this is going to be built in pretty much one big lump. But I reckon that's I reckon that's 50 odd grand's worth of foundation. And, well, we're currently only on half of that, less than half of that now. And we're getting 98 generic units of currency per day. So that's going to take quite some time. However, that doesn't really account for the um, <laughs> the monumental amount of parole that we have as well. So that's quite interesting. Now that people are working as well, we should be okay. We're just going to double check. Um, I want to check something in formants. What sort of people are working in this? Is there any particular traits? There isn't, is there? I just wanted to see if there's any particular traits um, for the people working in the workshop. And no. Fearless, fearless, tough, strong, volatile. Eh, interesting. Uh, we'll go over to our um, logistics and for the f uh, prison labour, we can see the people are assigned to this one. It's currently lock up, so it's going to... Ah, damn it, we've uh, waited just a bit too far, uh, too long there. Double checking the heat, and we can see the heat is perfectly acceptable. That is fine. We are still going around to place all of this, and we've got two people coming from around here. One of them who's just called... D. Henry Phillips D. Prison number 13608502. He is a jail planner. Know the ins and outs of every prison design. Try to break out with any chance he gets. And he's ironically in here false imprisonment. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is that is irony. Anyway, uh, we have... Yeah, we do have that one locked open. I was going to say we could probably not have this locked open, but I don't think it really matters too much. Um, looks like that person's getting searched, and Moon is struggling to get inside there. I think it's when you have it on max speed, they tend to go all over the place. What are they doing? James Moon. Are they drunk? What is James Moon up to? They're crashing into everything. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. They could be absolutely off the head on something. Some sort of substance. They are acting very strange. Not too sure if bug or too many drugs. <laughs> column A, column B, all the above, none of the above. I don't know. I don't know. Um interesting. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we will go to a faster speed there. We can see we are getting some uh, early releases for the prisoners. I'm going to go over to our guard test certification. We're 23 in the queue, so we can stop a couple of those. We don't need to do that. Only a 54% pass rate. That is very, very strange. Um, Paul Headland there. Let me just double check. Might as well just go to informants. Extremely volatile. and No, he doesn't want to become a conventional informant. That is fine. Uh, do we want to do a search tonight? I don't think we do in particular. Right, let's just see what this would cost if we were to build it now. Seven. Twenty. A bit more. And then that should technically do it. Yeah, we can build it all in one go. Right, that has got auto light on as well, so let's crack on. We might as well put it in. Why not? I'm not going to do a shakedown, as I mentioned previously, because, uh, well, quite frankly, there's just far too much going on. So today's beverage is uh, coffee again, as per the previous episode. Um, so we have 11 normal security arriving shortly. In terms of our intake, you see we don't have any death row available on there. We have some kicking off. Where is it? Oh, look, it's it's, it's Ed Gasking again. Um, what a surprise. There's a Langdon there. And a Busby. No. Confidential informants. Strangely, we've only got th uh, four confidential informants and no one else. And why is that Inskit being escorted somewhere? Do they have parole? 
They can do parole, I believe. But they have to be escorted. Yes, and because they prefer going this route around the back because they're being escorted, they're going to be put in there. It's fine. Uh, people are there. Just waiting for this bit anyway. Right, so more intake and more people coming in. You can see we have a lot of delivery trucks. And we do have the worker as well as the truck driver now taking stuff from the supply truck over to deliveries, which is good. It'll take quite a while for that to happen. You can see it's coming in in dribs and drabs with stacks of uh, meals and things. Just to double check that actually we've got the needs and staff needs. You can see we don't have any massive critical need in the food bit. So we know that that is actually working, which is um, a big change. <laughs> um... I should point out that, sort of ironically, the internal structure here will cause some people to freeze to death. Because stuff will have been ordered to be flung in over the wall, it'll land here, but then it won't be able to land because uh, there's, a, there's a foundation there. So, yeah, that'll probably happen. So, we'll see how we get on there. We'll have to just, uh, we'll have to just put up and shut up, I think. I'm just going to double check the power stations there running at uh, no particular... Uh, great levels, so that's fine. Actually, I think the bottom one is running a little bit hot. I think that is on the uh, the overload level, but it's not like a, a huge priority at this stage. So, almost finished this foundation on the left. We can still see that they've got a couple of pieces of metal to put in for the foundation, and then that's going to go and generate the center first because that's where the door bit was and then the outside and now they have to place a lot of lights which have been placed probably in the right areas oh look at that we've got some very well lit rooms in there okay so we have a, another prisoner bus coming along we have two prisoner buses actually because there's one there and there's one oh they've already arrived actually so over to informants and we'll activate once again our informant got a tough one there Unknown trait there. We'll have to see what that one is. Uh, quick. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. And knock that off. Right. So, from here, this large jail door, we're going to lock it open for now. There's no real reason why we shouldn't. I will go to our flooring, concrete tiles. For the sake of completeness, we are placing concrete tiles around this like so and while we're on we're going to do around here too it'd also be best if I eventually do this outside bit but I don't think I have enough money for that we do have enough money that's fine so there's all the flooring in. You notice I haven't put flooring or anything in around here. There's no point. It just gets removed for the trees. Also, for the edge here, same sort of thing. Um, once it gets removed, it just goes to standard ground. Although, that is that should be snow. But I think because the stuff... That should be snow. So why isn't it snow? I could place it, but I'm, I'm going to buy snow. I'm not buying snow when it's minus 5 degrees. No. Definitely not. So, early prisoner release. Multiple things going through there. Parole. Three prisoners up for parole. So, we're just coming to the end of that now. Which is interesting. Uh, we could run some more foundation education programs. More people are interested than are currently on it. Workshop safety is fine. With uh, 53 pass, 37% pass rate on that one. Guard taser, we can stop some of that. We can stop all of that, in fact. Oh, no, there's still some in the queue. Reschedule all of that, and... Brett Betteridge is currently kicking off, and has just got tasered. Because we have got our taser roll out there. General education qualification. Cries education, and all rooms booked. Interesting. Okay. Camtree apprenticeship. It finished 0% past. Yeah. Yeah, we still have to produce 10 superior beds. It's not happening, is it? It's not happening. So, in terms of this area at the back, if we go over to our utilities, we can check to see what sort of distribution we have. So, this one here is currently powering only the workshop down there. It will also have to extend up to here 
to power this workshop. Like up to here. And that's not unreasonable for me to place it in now. The rest of this will be powered by the usual suspects. So let's see how we get on. In terms of... Ooh. Gas can get knocked out, yeah, once again. <laughs> yeah, in terms of the rest of the building, got that and that to do. This is quite easy to designate. The workshop, I don't know if we want to get more people in. I'm not too sure whether we need to or not. There's another option as well for the left-hand side here. Instead of it being high risk uh, and or supermax, is we could change it so that this is only for prisoners who have traits that are dangerous. So, skilled fighter, um, volatile, deadly, mm, probably not tough, but those sort of traits. That's... it's not unreasonable to say we could do that. In fact, I don't think that's a big problem at all. And that sort of fits in with a, more of the design of what we're going for anyway. But then again, we'll never get Death Row. So, I don't know. Whether or not we get Death Row anyway was sort of up in the air. I'm sort of backtracking on it a bit because, quite frankly, I don't know if it really fits the design of the facility. I really don't. Anyway, we have got some uh, people in here. One of them did have an unknown trait. Hang on. Uh, where am I at? There we are. Right, we'll activate. Confidential informant. They're being escorted up and round this way. And in here. Strong and volatile. And Gaskin. Yeah, you got tasered straight away. That is... A bit of an advantage when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, they get tasered very, very easily and very quickly. Right, so we're going to place some electrical cable. I'm just going to run it in the top here and then connect up all of these. Same for the central section there. I currently don't know what sort of distribution we're going to have, especially when you consider that this is going to have to power not only the extra workshop but also potentially the death row in there although I s I've s sort of convinced myself it's not necessary but I don't know if that's the case or not I really don't know I'm going off the idea of death row I really am it just doesn't really fit the design it was more of a case of we have the space we can add it but yeah it's a bit of a hodgepodge the whole thing anyway with these sort of guard pavilions that we haven't finished because we just don't need them. Yeah. Mm. I'll have to think a bit more about that one. But we'll continue on and build some of these cells if uh, nothing else. I mean, potentially the idea would be if we were playing it longer term, what we'd do is we would add in the guard pavilions, put them back in, well, put, I was going to say put them back in, but put them in because we currently haven't got them, and then we would start transitioning over to be a more high-risk facility in general, so this would be high-risk, then this would be solitary, uh, this would be death row and supermax and that sort of thing. That would then actually fit better than what we have, and there wouldn't be much else we'd have to change. We'd have to get some more armed guards, but we have an armory. We'd have to assign those armed guards to different places. But it wouldn't be a monumental task to change this up. So it is a possibility in the future. Come and revisiting this thing. Um, there is a death, and uh, let me someone frozen to death round here. I did mention that could have happened, or could happen. Let me find a guard response. Let's see. Let's see if that was John Fro 
John Frost, Frozen to Death. I shouldn't laugh, but I mean with a second name like that. Prisoner Frost, prison number 11712267, who I originally thought was Gaskin, looking at him, frozen to death. Now that's irony. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I did point this out. It's just a known thing that happens. If stuff's being ordered in, and they can't get to the thing that's being ordered in to be thrown in, and foundation they're just going to stand there and they freeze to death yeah so whoops it happens um unless you sort of heat up the entire room before anything else then there's not much you can really do there anyway so i'm going to go over to the guard pavilion corners and i'm going to rotate these round to uh, actually put them in because what i'm tempted to do what i'm very tempted to do is to finish off these two here put in this bit and leave this cell block don't touch it because a couple of reasons firstly i don't think the current distribution of prisoners fits this design we'd have to in a on a long-term basis start to remove well basically parole and let people leave uh parole the prisoners and let them leave uh, once they finish their sentences and then start to introduce higher risk prisoners reassign some guards as in basically get armed guards get some snipers and put them on the guard pavilions or we could just have standard armed guards up there if we wanted to and then we would sort of furnish this that would probably be fine and probably what i'd do in the long term but i think because this build has been going on for so long i think it would be probably best to halt it there oh there's a snitch so that is useful that we've been doing that joseph norris so we will go ahead and say protective custody for you. So they'll be brought immediately down there. Oh yeah, I don't know if you know. Um, you, just, you notice I changed their uniform straight away. It just gives them a uniform. Uh, so they don't have to uh, undress and then uh, wear the new uniforms. It just seems to just go quick and just they, they get a uniform. Which is uh, strange. Anyway, so uh, what else is left to do then? It is a case of building this and then building this. So those are simply going to be clones of these two rooms. So I think we'll go ahead and probably do that now. Danger level is going up probably because of the coal. Let me just double check them needs. And no, it's a food need. It is a food need. That. That's okay. So from the left-hand side here, we're going to go over to... Uh, our walls and doors, white walls, we're going to be copying this and this one. So it's actually very, very similar. They just have the walls all the way around the outside up to there. And then same thing on the other side. Insufficient funds, so I won't continue building. I believe this is a jail door. Let me double check to make sure it is... No, it's a standard door. It is actually a standard door for the workshop, which actually makes perfect sense to me, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, I believe I believe that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to do. We will. We've put the pavilions in, so provisions have been made. We have planned this off for what will eventually, potentially become, the death row and supermax area, and then we will transition the facility over. I think I will actually put in some more solitary because. It would be worth it and subsidence oh bad subsidence hang on no that's radios and subsidence i was going to say the thing that they've told me there is not subsidence so it's saying about the current radio broadcasts are randomly made up well the only places we have radios is over here we've had that previously in this series so we're not too worried about that what is worrying is that the wall just fallen down and there's a prisoner there they can just run straight out so, guard response. Get as many guards there as possible. We're going to go over to the uh, walls and doors. White wall. That goes across. That goes in. And that gets built as a priority. And get that sorted. Because otherwise, this thing's going to go all kinds of wrong. So that's now fixed. It didn't take too long to fix, I'm happy to say. So flooring, concrete tiles can go along the outside. Concrete tiles there, concrete tiles there, which looks like I haven't placed, but 
uh, previously anyway, so good for that. And then deployment. Staff only. Also, prison labour. Ah, it's still assigned. That is okay. That's good. So, uh, those are getting put in. Walls are going to be put in there. It's sleep time now. I think we'll do one more shakedown. So, yes, um, we're going to leave it there for this episode. Next episode will probably be the last for this series. What I want to do is I want to add in this building and this building for the sake of completion, really. Because, you know, that's that was the original top and bottom plan. The left-hand side... It certainly wasn't ad hoc, but it was a case of we're expanding because that's the rough idea we had and blah, blah, blah. Um, finding a certain amount of tunnels here. And, oh, a lot of tunnels. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. At least we found them. A fairly big tunnel network, that one. Yeah, um, so finish these two off, put in the forestry there. This is pretty much sorted. This is planned off for a potential expansion. I'm not saying that we will ever come back to this, and I'm not saying we won't come back to it. I'm just saying that if we want to, we know that the potential is there to upgrade the prison to a higher rating. So currently going from normal risk up to high risk will phase out those prisoners and get high risk ones and then, you know, do that sort of thing. And see, it'll be an interesting thing. Uh, it'll be an interesting experiment to see whether that works or not. Whether a facility that was not designed for high risk can take the high risks. I'm going to wager yes it can in this that person definitely had a trait. As soon as they're activated, they then don't have a trait. Huh. Anyway, unless I've missed someone. It was a different person. Yeah, I think this will because we already have this big compound in the centre. We have the guard pavilions. We have fairly decent security arrangements anyway. A couple of big problems. Uh, no road gate on the outside. No fence around the outside. That needs to be addressed. And I'll prob I'll finish that. I'll do that next episode. I'll put in uh, road gates and door openers and things around the outside. That needs to be done, I think. Um, and it's also uh, this over here as well. You can also see that the workers are chopping down loads of trees. So we're going to get lots of money for that. Uh, this will be chopped up and uh, we'll make it. You can see we've got... Uh uh, Spackman, Adam Spacky Spackman there, who is... What they're doing? They are doing quite well in terms of their reform and punishments, and they are also trying to do carpentry apprenticeship with a very little success chance. Hmm. Anyway, we will leave it there next episode. We will finish off the remaining bits of the facility and see just how we've done overall. Either way, I hope, I hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.